<laughs> but I can remember many of those pastors, big fat men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those pastors were very big and fat men. Something like Brother Stan. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to hear about the, the, uh, the CPM pastors, how they wanted other people to bring them food. They were just like little lords, little kings, and people would serve them and feed them and do all kinds of things for them. And they would sit with their Bible in their arm and put on a big show and performance while the others were serving them. That is not the way a pastor should be. and That's not the way a Christian should be. We are to have the spirit of a servant. We should be serving people, not asking them to serve us. Our heart should be there to help others, not expect that to come our way. So that's what Jesus was talking about. I came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and give my life a ransom. And that's the kind of spirit you and I ought to have. Now we come to point the principle number four. Principle number four is the principle of death. And we'll take a look at John chapter 12. And verse 24, John 12, and verse 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. So Jesus here was giving the principle of death. If that corn of wheat that you put into the ground, if it dies, then it will bring forth fruit. First it must die. And it has been said by people of experience, and I'll just give you a report <coughs> here from... Brother Witherspoon, who was a well-known Jesus name leader, the minister must die if the people will live. The minister must die if the people will live. For a minister to be really successful, he has got to die, and that means die out to his own desires, his own wishes, put himself down, so that others can be lifted up. That should be the spirit of a minister. Not to be served, but to <coughs> serve, even to give your life for the sake of your people. That should be the spirit of a true servant of Jesus Christ. We don't expect others to serve us, but we are there to help them when they need our help. That should be the spirit and that kind of spirit will keep us on track. Colossians chapter 1, 24. Let's look at Colossians chapter 1 and verse 24. 